What's up YouTube? This is going to be a tutorial on how to add guests to your live stream using Slobs, Streamlabs, OBS, and Skype with the NDI output. Uh, so I was having a really hard time figuring this out. It seems like you need a bunch of plugins to do it with regular OBS. I was using Streamlabs OBS, so that wasn't going to work. Um, and just general, I couldn't find a tutorial that worked. So I'm going to show you what I figured out how to do because it's Saturday morning and I think I finally got it. So um, let's go. All right. First steps first. I'm going to do a little screen share here. And sorry, I, I don't know. I'm lucky. I got a big monitor. And so uh, this is going to be kind of small. Uh, you want to go to ndi.tv and you want to download the NDI tools. Some of the other uh, tutorials that I, uh, I saw said the SDK. You don't want that. You want the tools. And so you're going to go download. You're going to click the tools for Mac. You're going to populate that stuff. Uh, and then it's going to give you a plug or a pop-up that says download um, a driver and download the tools. I did both. Right. And, and here's the part of my tutorial that's not going to be awesome. And hopefully someone comes along and redoes it and it's better. Uh, I did both. I installed a bunch of shit and now it works. All right. So someone else could narrow down what exactly worked. I'm going to tell you what I did. So I installed the viewer, the access control, uh, the drivers, and now it works. So let me show you what this looks like. I'm going to call myself. So hang on. Okay, so now I got a Skype call. This is my guest. <clears throat> All right. And uh, what I'm going to do is if we just go over here. Yeah, see, we can see it working. I'm going to get rid of this because we don't need that. You can see the fan moving. That is the thing. So this, this is what it would look like. And uh, you would... Let me just go back to my screen share here. Uh, sorry, again, this is a little bit messy, but the audio is coming through Wavelink. So it's that's the virtual mix board with this Elgato uh, mic. Awesome, by the way. Uh, if you're looking for a mic for streaming, this thing is really cool. And basically, the virtual uh, mixer board here is almost like pays for the mic itself. You're sort of getting the, you know, compared to some of the other competitors. But in, anyway neither here nor there, not what we're covering. So you're going to control the audio mix in the, the virtual thing. And then you're going to control the video via NDI. So this, this is all working now, but I'm going to show you what needs to happen. So you're going to need to fire up the NDI virtual input. And uh, well, and actually, furthermore, when you go to Skype first, so first, in Skype, to set this up, you gotta go calling, and you gotta go to advanced, and then you gotta make sure the NDI is on. That is getting Skype to broadcast the NDI onto your network. And so basically what it's doing is it's just splashing the video out onto the network, which might have security ramifications, but we don't care. All right, so you got that set up. You don't need this anymore. All right, next, we're going to check out the virtual input. So again, sorry, it's kind of small. And virtual input, NDI. Okay, it's on the wrong screen. So it's showing up here in the taskbar right there. Okay, and you can see what's going on, active speaker or live. You, know, you can grab either one because Skype's putting a lot out onto the network. All right, so there's that. And again, getting echo from the other device. So we're just going to go active speaker. And it seems to choose the active speaker is not uh, you. So like right now, I'm speaking. Uh, and that's you know going in here. We're actually just going to mute that to eliminate that echo. Um, so it's not me. It's whoever the active speaker of the guest is. Uh, so got that. All right. And so then here's kind of where the tricky part comes in. It seems like on a Mac, you need this virtual input to be selected. Because what you're going to do in OBS is you're going to go in and you're going to add a video capture device, right? Because this is going to look like a webcam. 
in some of the other tutorials, it shows an NDI input down here. Or sorry, down here, you can't see that right now. All right, it shows an NDI input on the video capture device. I'm gonna go back to sharing my screen here. All right, so what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add, we're gonna add this uh, Skype call to this scene, right? Because there isn't enough chaos going on already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go plus, we're gonna go video capture device, all right? Now, some of the other tutorials show NDI as, a, as an option showing up. Like if you're on a PC or something like that, that's not happening for me. And the virtual input is solving this problem for us. So we're gonna go add source, all right? I already have one there, but we're gonna add a new source, add a new source instead. We're gonna call it um, NDI V2. V2 doesn't matter because it's just, uh, it's just me, right? And we're gonna put that over here. We're gonna select an option and it's gonna be NDI video. So again, your OS now thinks that there is another device plugged into it thanks to the virtual input. And that virtual input is the NDI off the, off the network. So there you go, boom, selected, done. We can now move it around. We can resize it. We can put it over here, you know, wherever we want. Right, just to make it extra cluttered, we put it right here. All right, boom, and, and you're in business, and you're in business, right? And so the cool thing is you can actually kind of control it from up here, so you could say like local, all right? Or you could say, uh, you know, active, or you could pick one guess. So you have almost an extra level of control there. Um, so I, we'll see once I actually do a live stream how that works out with multiple guests. But anyway, I think that has it solved. So now we have an NDI input coming into Streamlabs OBS on a Mac, whereas 24 hours ago, I didn't know how to do that. So hopefully this helped you as well. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments. Again, hopefully someone that's more educated on this comes along and does another tutorial that is more official. But there you go. There you go. That's how I solved the problem. And uh, enjoy.